Microsoft and Walgreens in a tie-up. Uh, it's a seven-year deal, and it includes up to 12 digital health centers uh, that are going to be uh, little kiosks in Walgreens stores, incorporate Microsoft technology. More important for the Microsoft perspective, Walgreens Boots Alliance is moving the majority of its digital infrastructure to Azure. Now, this is the only broadcast interview that you're going to see with uh, Microsoft Satya Nadella uh, and Walgreens Boots CEO Stefano Piscina. They're talking about how this deal came together. Take a listen. Ugh. One year ago, more or less, one year ago, uh, we started to discuss uh, seriously and to analyze what we could do together. And uh, it has been uh, quite as, a smooth process uh, overall. I think that's right. I mean, it sort of started three years ago with a conversation around the vision. Uh, and then, you know, as uh, Stefano described, they went through a pretty rigorous process of really finding the right partner who can bring both world-class technology, uh, but also that trust uh, in order to be able to help them build this ecosystem. Because ultimately, uh, this is about broad partnerships that need to be harnessed by Walgreens in order to deliver uh, the services that are envisioning. And they needed to find a partner who, in on the technology side, has the capability to do that ecosystem orchestration and is trusted. And that that's sort of where, uh, you know, obviously we uh, do well in, and I'm glad to sort of really bring all that uh, to this partnership. This follows uh, partnerships that Microsoft has announced in the cloud with Kroger just last week. And you remember Microsoft, uh, sorry, uh, also announced a partnership with Walmart back in the summer. It's a new motion, I would say, for the cloud. You see Microsoft here trying to position this as a strategic partnership. They're trying to get deep on Walgreens' needs in pharma, uh, talk about the, the sharing of intellectual property, building out research centers. Clearly, you can also see this is versus Amazon. Uh, Walgreens Boots Alliance has talked about Amazon's entry into pharma, saying, that they're going to be able to scale up technology faster than Amazon is going to be able to scale up a real retail presence and address customers. This is them trying to put some meat on the bone there. Hmm. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of activity, as you mentioned, just what we've seen with all these players trying to get involved. How do you kind of measure any of these alliances or any of these efforts at this point? Well, that's what I asked Stefano Piscina. It's like, what are the benchmarks we're going to see yeah. that this is actually working out? And he said, after we actually get our legacy systems moved to the cloud, that's where we're going to start rolling out these kiosks in store with that digital presence. They say they're aiming for about a dozen in 2019. So if you see about a dozen of those in 2019, that means they were actually able right. to move those legacy systems. Was there the another tech company that would have been competing effectively for this business? I assume AWS and Amazon, <laughs> they're not going to do business uh, with the, those guys because they see them as a true competitor. Would, would Google have been trying to compete for this business, for example? Ideally, Google would have wanted this business. I think you really need to see Google build out more of an enterprise force not just the technology, but the people who are going to be able to implement helping a customer like this move to the cloud. That's going to be uh, the task for the new CEO of Google Cloud. Of course, IBM in there, right. that's the sort of business that's used to working uh, with partners, has that services organization, which is kind of what this right. is a parallel so to. So Microsoft's a winner model. then in this case. I was trying to figure out who, who loses. I was trying to figure out who was competing for this business, who was waking up this morning going, we didn't get it. Yeah, I mean, IBM would have wanted this. Right. You would expect that Really, the likes of HP would have wanted this in the past. They don't have that same mega scale cloud, but they're still trying to argue that they're in position to link people up with whatever cloud they would have wanted. You know, Oracle maybe, but they're really very much What's in What's the there. economic value in all this? You know, I asked them they wouldn't give uh, a price tag on it. Important to note, though, this is a seven year deal, contrast with uh, the five year deal that they announced with Walmart back in right. the summer. This is probably worth a bit more.